everybody. I'm Miss Alicia from the Trustful Public Library. I'm here to bring a fun wintry story to you at your home. Today's story is The Mitten by Jan Brett. I hope everybody enjoys this story. It's one of my favorites to tell at this time of the year. Once there was a boy named Nicky and he wanted some mittens, some new mittens that were white as snow, just like this mitten. His grandmother told him that as soon as she gave him some new mittens and he went out into the snow, that he'd probably lose them and he'd never be able to find them. But that didn't stop Nicky. He wanted those mittens so, so, so badly that his grandmother finally made them. She told him that as soon as he came back, she would check to make sure that he was safe and that he still had his new Snow White mittens. Well, wouldn't you know that Nicky went right off into the snow and what was the first thing that he did? You're right, he lost one of his mittens. It fell right into the snow. But fortunately for Nikki, some other friends found his mitten. The first animal to see this mitten was a white rabbit that came hopping by. Hop, hop, hop. And that white rabbit stopped and noticed that white mitten in the snow. And that rabbit was just admiring his winter coat and thought, oh, my winter coat is the same color as this mitten. It's snow white. He saw that mitten and he wiggled into that mitten. Feet first. And he became this size after entering that mitten. Ooh, oh, it is so soft and warm in here on this very cold day. Next, there was another animal that spotted the mitten that was in the snow. It was a great big owl. And that great big owl swooped down to the ground and noticed that mitten. That owl was so very cold, he wanted to come inside that mitten too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And so, sure enough, as soon as that rabbit saw that great big owl, she made room inside the mitten for the owl. She did not want to argue with that owl. And the owl became this size after squeezing inside of that mitten. And the owl said, oh, it is so soft and warm in here on this very cold day. Sure enough, there was another friend that came by and he spied the mitten too. He made a growling sound like this. You're right, it's a brown grizzly bear. That grizzly bear was really cold outside. He began to nose his way in that mitten. And rabbit and owl didn't dare, dare fuss with the bear. They just squeezed over a little bit to make room for the big brown bear to come inside. And big brown bear, he became this size. After squeezing inside of that mitten, it began snowing outside, but the animals were snug inside of the mitten. That mitten, after the bear came inside, it swelled and it stretched and it pulled and it bulged. Oh no, I hope there's enough room for just one more. Well, sure enough, there was a tiny mouse that said sounds just like this. Into the one 
tiny space that was left right on top of that big brown bear's nose. And so that mouse made himself comfortable right on top of the bear, just like that. And the mouse said, oh, it is so soft and warm in here on this very cold day. Well, as soon as that mouse sat right on top of the bear's nose, he gave a very big sneeze. He went, oh, 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 And as soon as he did, that mitten stretched and pulled until it scattered all of the animals into the snow. Oh, no. All of the animals were out of the mitten now. But guess who saw that mitten after he saw it shoot up into the air and fall back into the snow? You're right, it was Nicky. And he found his one lost mitten and he went back home safely with his new mittens. I hope you enjoyed that story today. And again, that story was The Mitten by Jan Brett. And inside of your story kit this week, you'll find a mitten and some animals that you can color and cut out and put inside of your mitten. We're going to play a game next with some mittens. And I would love it if you could play along with me from home. Behind one of these mittens is a snowball. I'm going to see if you can guess which mitten is hiding the snowball. Let's see. Ooh, we have all kinds of colorful mittens. We have a red mitten, a blue mitten, a green mitten, a brown mitten, a yellow mitten, and another blue mitten. Okay. And we're going to say a little rhyme that goes with this game. And it goes just like this. Snowball, 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 cold and round, behind which mitten can you be found? Hmm, I wonder where that snowball is hidden. I wonder if it's behind the blue mitten. Let's check. No, no snowball. All right, remember this, that rhyme is called snowball, snowball. Snowball, snowball, cold and round. Behind which mitten can you be found? Ooh, let's check the brown mitten. No snowball. Let's try again. Snowball, snowball, cold and round. Behind which mitten can you be found? Mm, let's try the red one. <gasps> no snowball. <sighs> let's keep trying. Snowball, snowball, cold and round. Behind which mitten can you be found? Let's try the blue one. <gasps> no snowball. That's okay. We're going to try one more time. Snowball, snowball, cold and round. Behind which mitten can you be found? Let's try the green one. Oh, there it is. There's the snowball. We found it. Great job, everybody. I hope you had a great time at story time today. Join us again for next Thursday's virtual story time at 10.30. Bye-bye.